Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Devotion. I want to read to you from Genesis chapter 1, and verses 24 and 25. Genesis chapter 1, verses 24 and 25. This is a creation story. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. That's what I want you to remember. That last part of that verse of all the animals that God created, God saw that it was good. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we enter into this Bible study tonight in discussion, be with us and allow the Holy Spirit to guide our thoughts and our minds as we contemplate a theological thought. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen. There's been a question I've been asked many, many times since I've been in ministry, close to 30 years now. And that one question is, especially after a pet dies, a dog, a cat, whatever, that people will ask, is my cat in heaven? Is my dog in heaven? Is my hamster in heaven? And I'll give you my answer in, in a couple of minutes, but I want you to think about that for a moment. The pets that you have had, and they've been part of your family, do you believe that they're in heaven? I went back and I, I did some research and I wanted to know what a couple of theologians and evangelists thought about that question. So I went back and I, I, uh, I Googled Dr. Billy Graham. And this is, this is the question that was asked uh, to Dr. Billy Graham. And it says, Dear Dr. Graham, you probably get this question asked a lot, but do you think we will be reunited with our pets in heaven? Our dog died recently after 15 years, and I just can't imagine being happy in heaven unless he's there with us. And Dr. Graham, Billy Graham, writes back, Dear Mrs. S.J., God will provide us with everything we need to be happy in heaven. And if animals are necessary to make us completely happy there, you can be confident he will arrange for them to be with us. That's Dr. Billy Graham saying, yes, pets will go to heaven. So I went back and I, I Googled Dr. David Jeremiah, and he's, uh, he's an evangelist, a Bible scholar of today on television. And, and this is what he said. This was the title of the article, Do Dogs Go to Heaven? The Bible doesn't clearly state whether we'll see our pets again in heaven, but scripture suggests the presence of animals in heaven. In Isaiah 11:6, we're told that during the millennia, the reign of Jesus on earth, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. The leopard shall die down with the young goat, and the calf and the young lion and the fat lean together, and a little child shall lead them. A similar scene is painted here in Isaiah 65, 25. It's clear that there will be animals on earth during the millennium, and that predators and prey will live together in harmony. Later, John, the evangelist, gives us the, a glimpse of heaven in Revelation 19, 11, and verse 14. And it says, now I, saw heaven, uh, now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he sat on him, was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses, Jesus and his armies will ride white horses to capture Satan and the false prophet and cast him into the lake of fire forever. It seems clear that there will be animals in heaven. That's Dr. David Jeremiah. Now, I'm going to give you my interpretation, interpretation by Dr. Ronald W. Raptosh. And this is my interpretation. <clears throat> and it's the last verse of the, the piece that I read to you from Genesis chapter 1. 20, uh, verses 24 and 25. And that last verse, and it's saying that God created living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals. And at the end of that verse, 25, it says, and God saw that it was good. So the question that I'm proposing to you today is this. 
Why would God create anything good and not allow that goodness not to be in heaven? So, with that being said, I believe that pets are in heaven. I believe that you will be reunited in heaven. What Billy Graham said, that things that's going to make us happy, um, certainly, uh, you know, the animals and pets that we've had will be, I, I, I believe that, will be in heaven. Now, do they have souls? I don't believe that. Only human beings have a soul. But I, I, can, I can pretty much uh, tell you that scripturally, even though it just doesn't come right out and say that, there will be animals in heaven. And I am, am I'm confident that you'll get to see your pet in heaven again. And I'm counting on it as well. There's a couple of people I want you to be praying for, and, uh, and I want to read them off to you. <clears throat> One is Bruce Collier, and he had a stint put in for a kidney stone, and I know he's in a lot of pain, so please pray for uh, Bruce Collier in your prayers. Clint Stevenson's wife, Joyce, will be having knee replacement surgery tomorrow at Forbes Hospital. And also Penny Carroll's sister, Carolyn, uh, she's, uh, she has an infection in both of her legs. So please pray for Carolyn, Clint uh, Stevenson's uh, wife, Joyce, and also Bruce Collier. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time and thank you for blessing us. And we just ask your blessings upon Bruce as he continues to be in pain with this stint that's put in. And we just ask that as he has this procedure to take away this, this uh, kidney stone, that you be with him. Also, Donna, uh, Donna Ernest, too. She's having trouble with her kidney stones and will be going back for surgery uh, in a week or so to eliminate that. And we also pray for Joyce Stevenson. We pray for her surgeon, her anesthesiologist, and for everyone in the OR uh, who's going to make her, who, who I know will make her well, and that she'll be able to walk again. And also for Carolyn as well, Carolyn Carroll. We ask God's blessings for healing upon her. And all those who are out there today, my hand is up in the air. Please uh, receive this blessing from God and receive this healing from God. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Will you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow night.